What the fresh fuck is this movie? That's a very complicated question. Battlefield Baseball is a lot of things. It's an action movie. It's a comedy. It's a horror. It's a musical. It's a sports film. It is all of these things, and yet none of them at the same time. It's a lot of things and doesn't really dedicate to any of them, and it's kind of a mess of a film, yet I can't stop thinking about it. Directed by Yudai Yamaguchi, a pretty underground director who has worked on some odd stuff, like Meatball Machine and Yakuza Weapon. However, what really matters is who he worked with, Ryuhei Kitamura, a longtime partner in their movies. They started out with their all-time classic, Versus, while Kitamura would go on to work on franchises like Godzilla and even a Hollywood movie like The Midnight Meat Train and was able to find some success. Yamaguchi was more limited to the Japanese splatter film scene, but they still work together. It was Kitamura who helped fund this weird movie, and what a strange fucking movie it was. It's also apparently based on a manga, Jigoku Koshien, so that would explain the absurdity. Didn't read it for this video, but I imagine it was very silly. So, what is this movie? Battlefield Baseball follows the Sato High School's baseball team as they have a chance to attend the Koshien Stadium, but have to face the danger of the Ghetto Team, a team of monsters that murder their opponents on the field in a violent display. Their only hope now is the new student, Jubei the Baseball, and through a series of utter insanity, the two teams will clash on the baseball field. It's certainly a weird plot, but a strange premise can only do so much. Thankfully, everything in this movie is fucking weird. The overacting from everyone in this film is a sight to behold. People going nuts, screaming, laughing, and just being as cartoonish as possible. It's a mess with the tone, but I'm like 90% certain that this was on purpose. I think the way a lot of these characters overreact adds to the weird charm. The head coach isn't just chewing the scenery, he's fucking gorging on it. All the characters are just so cartoony, which I guess would understand it because it is from a manga. Boncho and his team of Yankees, who are clearly not student high school age. Boncho gets a pass because he's aging all over the place, but these guys are so obviously not students. You got this girl who's only in scenes to scream and then leaves. Four Eyes' mom is walking around the house with a giant sledgehammer and smashing shit. This film is just a cartoon come to real life, and I am here for that. I genuinely do love how goofy this whole world is. I think the cheapness of this film, based on its much smaller budget, does add to the film's insanity. There are these cheap rubber props that are strewn about the field, props that they end up using twice in the movie and just decide, fuck it. I know it saves money, but you couldn't have put some fake blood on it, or not have just impaled the head again, or have the hair down. It's even in the same shot, in the same area of the next shot, and it's like, did you film it in the same day? Even the freeze frames aren't really freeze frames. You can see them moving just slightly in the frames. But this movie is so clearly taking the piss, so obviously dicking around. No fucks were given and I am here for that. This movie is just a plethora of ideas and gags to add to the madness. There's a full-on musical number halfway through, and to add to the jokes, or you know, just to save money on getting another actor, they had the lead actor, Tak Sakaguchi, just play his child version so they didn't have to get another actor. It's so stupid, yet it's so charming and hilarious, and I can't help but love it. Then we get to the Ghetto Team, this squad of what, I don't even know what they are, mutants, zombies, whatever they are. I like them though. They all have these weird designs, screws in their heads, they have ball gags. One of them is literally carrying around a fake dummy that is also apparently a student, and they all just look so goofy. It's not without some creative ideas though. I like this one guy who has to talk through a busted radio by jamming it into his throat, that's neat. But as for the fighting when they get to how these guys just brutalize their opponents on the field, well you don't really ever see it much. You see the aftermath, Boncho getting impaled with bats, the whole team strung up on a scoreboard and Forrest has nails in his face, but we never really see the action play out up until the end. And even then, I mean it's a cool fight scene, but it's not really violent. Even in the world of pretty low budget Japanese splatter films like Tokyo Gore Police, Machine Girl, and Big Tits Zombie, yes these are all real, 
Battlefield Baseball is pretty light on the violence and the gore. Hell, even versus a film that came out much prior and I think had less of a budget, was more violent and action-packed. Not that I mind, this film was clearly on a budget and its main intent was to be more of a comedic farce and sort of a comedy film rather than just being flat-out action. And even then, I'm not even saying the action is bad. I mean, it's pretty damn good, actually. Tak Sakaguchi is a man known for doing his own stunts and has done tons of action movies in Japan and has, in fact, worked with Yamaguchi and Kitamura many times in the past. He's extremely talented, and I do wish he was in bigger stuff, but oh well. As a man who does do his own stunts, when fights do start in Battlefield Baseball, they're pretty good. It has some great cinematography and fight choreography. Most of them are really goofy, even the climactic duel at the end is just a shit post, and I mean that in a good way. Oddly enough, my favorite fight is between Sakaguchi's character and Four Eyes' mom, as she swings around her giant hammer and destroys the house while Sakaguchi leaps and jumps and throws punches. I always like fights in tighter spaces. It gives it a much more claustrophobic feeling, and one fuck-up could spell disaster. I mean, it's still really goofy. It's hard not to make an old lady going wild with a hammer not silly, but it's still pretty cool. But the final act of the film, the final battle with Sato and Gato, it just changes its entire tone. I mean, the film was already goofy as fuck before, but now it's just going ham with the comedy. It almost feels like a parody of itself. I don't know if they just had a different tone or something, but I love this. The different style of just going all out with the comedy and the absurdist humor is what I live for. There's comedy of all sorts in this final act. There's some strange humor, some cartoonish antics, really awkward humor, and even some anti-humor for the uh, modernists out there. Shit, that should not be funny, yet it makes me laugh so hard just because it's so unintentionally funny. Also, the movie is making a real big deal of the tornado pitch, a move that Jubei needed to master to defeat Ghetto, one that his dad had to teach him from the afterlife, one that would be the defining victory for Sato. They never fucking use it. Instead, he beats Ghetto with just using a bat, and then pulls some special move out of nowhere and skins one of the team members alive. This movie is a fucking terrible written piece of shit mess, and I love it. So why do I like this movie so much? It's clearly a mess, it's not very well written, some stuff gets hyped up with no payoff, it's super cheap, it makes no sense, and it even has stock sound effects that make me laugh, like when they battle clash between the two characters and their power is so strong that the sound of their bats clashing together sounds like gunshots, I think that statement kinda answered my own question. Battlefield Baseball is not a good movie. From a technical standpoint and a writing standpoint, it's cheap and it's poor. From an entertainment standpoint, it should have gotten an Oscar and was probably better than whatever the fuck came out that year. What even did win the Oscar of 2003, huh? Return of the King? Okay, fair enough. But it still should have gotten nominated. Battlefield Baseball is a mess of a film, but I love it. I love any film that knows it is shit and does not care. I can respect that. When it is just here to have fun and to entertain you without having to be deep or philosophical or even remotely good, and it's just here to be goofy and silly and entertaining to the people who worked on it and to the people who watched it, I'm perfectly fine with that. I will take a mess that is having fun with being a mess over something that is trying to sniff its own fumes and just think it's high-class art when it's fucking trash. 
It's readily available on YouTube if you want to give it a watch. And you can get it on DVD for the low, low price of just 30 fucking dollars. So that's epic. It's certainly a good turn off your brain kind of film. And if you want something dumb to show to the boys, or if you just want some weird Japanese splatter niche film, maybe give Battlefield Baseball a chance. This movie also only has one single actual baseball game. The fuck. <laughs>